Now it's time for Quarantine Tonight. Live from an undisclosed location north of the Platte River, here's your host, Mike Flood. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It's a Monday night. It's just the chill of October in the air. And I'm your host, Mike Flood, on Quarantine Tonight. Guess who we have tonight? Yes, it's the Leo Lani Orchestra. They, uh, they're headquartered in Brainerd, Nebraska, and uh, they're scattered all across the eastern side of the great state. And uh, tonight, they're going to be playing your favorite polka music. In fact, they kind of juked me out here a little bit. I, 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 I thought, well, Leo Lani's uh, orchestra is coming on tonight. They're doing polka. They'll have their red bow ties, but they got me with the red casual today, which... Uh, Looks just as nice, and here I am with a sparkly jacket. You should have seen my son's high school friends when I walked out of our house with a sparkly jacket and a, a bow tie. All I needed was a pipe, and I would have fit everything. Has anybody here ever smoked a pipe? Legitimately smoked? I mean, a tobacco pipe? Uh, no? All right. How long ago you counting that, Paul says. Uh, we are so fortunate to have the Leo Lani Orchestra. In fact, this is one of the first bands that ever appeared on Quarantine Tonight, I, I actually think it was the first yeah, we polka were, band. We were the first yes. We were the ones that ruined it for everybody. And I think at that moment, uh, this program hit television gold with uh, the Leo Lani Orchestra. We had people all over the state that were just enjoying something you don't see on TV very often, if at all. So here we are broadcasting across Nebraska, and uh, we're going to get to uh, the Leo Lani Orchestra in just a second, but let's begin tonight with our prayer. I told these folks here, our pastors and priests and ministers, they have uh, they've gone on strike, I think. We need your help to talk them into giving the evening prayer. Uh, but I am their faithful stand-in as uh, we do our best to say something uh, at the beginning of each show to remind us exactly why we're here. And so, if you will, bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you so much for the Leo Lani Orchestra, for uh, their passions and their talents and... Uh, Bless them tonight as they made their way all across the uh, eastern side of the state to get to the Norfolk VFW. And uh, we pray for them to be able to have uh, that same passion while they're on television tonight. And then, of course, a safe ride home. Uh, we thank you for the really pleasant weather we had across Nebraska today and a bountiful harvest. In your name, amen. All right. Well, let's get to it. Uh, we've got the whole club here. They, uh, they've, had, they've been served eight waters uh, so far. So this could get a little rowdy. And how have you been, Lonnie? How's Harvest? I'm surprised you can do this in Harvest. My combine is sitting in the shed at the moment. So It has uh, been running nonstop. It's been running nonstop. Just been busy, busy, busy between Harvest and making some music and all that stuff. So. But the weather has been exceptionally it, nice. It has been almost too nice. Have so. you been able to get it all going? And when do you yep. think you'll be done? Oh, for me, I'm an army of one. And so uh, probably... You're an you army know, of one with how many girls in your family? Got, well, that one. Well, of course, and yes. Then, uh, <laughs> and, oh, well, she's a freshman, freshman in college. In college. At UNO, is at that UNO, right? UNO, that's right. How do you like that? I absolutely love it there. Are you missing the guidance of your parents <laughs> and all of the oversight yes. they provided you? Uh, let me answer that for you, yes. <laughs> Somewhat. It depends. <laughs> At what time are you, What do you have a, like a self-imposed curfew in college, probably 8.30? <laughs> um, usually by 6 o'clock. I'm pretty deadbeat from all my 19 credit hours. So. Whoa, that's a very good answer with 19 <laughs> credit hours. Except when your dad's got you out on the road singing. What about harvesting? Does he call you back in for that? Um, yesterday I helped him with the combine a little bit. Um, I haven't really been home. I've been busy with jazz band and piano contests and concerts, so... Well, Dad, I know what's going on. How have you handled this? This is your first one. This is it's been big withdrawals. I bet it big has withdrawals. Yeah, in a good way, and sometimes not in such a bad way. But you talk to him every day. Uh, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I always ask mom, "Did you hear from Susie today?" Yes. I said, "Okay, good enough." So. Well, we won't we won't lay up anymore, ladies and gentlemen. The Leo Lani Orchestra, right here on News Channel Nebraska. <laughs>
So great to have you along with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, since it's a quarantine tonight, we thought we'd play the Tonight Polka to start off first. How about that? It's all in the magic, Marla. We got a great bunch of musicians here, and the other, the really good ones, they're going to show up a little later, but we're going to use these from right now. And uh, we're uh, glad to be here, and uh, welcome. we, we want to welcome you with us. We're, we're having a great time, and we hope you enjoy the show. We got some of our favorite tunes that uh, we numbered so nicely in order, and we're going to do this nice little tune called the Bum's Luck Polka. <laughs> Silnica, silnica bila v lezi vrovena, to je ma, to je ma cesta stjes i sozena. Šest hori, šest hori lesi to vjeru, štjesti mi je gde si ozvice. Jestem je ty świat jedyny. Oh, good little tune called the Bums Luck Polka. Remind me to bring that applause soundtrack next time. <laughs> Paul, your mic, your mic is on or not on there? I hear it through there. Maybe it's not on through that until you start singing. Okay. Here's a pretty waltz right now. Uh, we mentioned we got some really, really, really good musicians, and uh, we, we first started talking to the one on the piano, and like Mike said, that's my daughter Susie back there. And so uh, the rest of the band will give her a big round of applause since there's nobody here. There we go. And uh, helping us out today uh, on that uh, bass horn, which I don't know if a camera can get to him or not. Can, can you? Don't want to break it. There we go. All the way from Fremont, Nebraska, uh, boys and gals of the band, have a nice round of applause. Mr. Steve Steger, everybody, doing a wonderful job helping us out today. 
He's filling in for uh, Alex Sarajewski, who couldn't play today for us. So we thank Steve for helping us out. Here, uh, oh, what? Sarajewski? Oh, no, Saratowski. Oh, okay, all right. Here's a free waltz called The Grown Rose Waltz. All right, here's a nice little tune. Um, we, we didn't pull out the whole book. Usually you see about a stack of music on each side of our stand about that high. And uh, we just kind of pulled out some of the charts and we numbered them and order what we're gonna do today. And so uh, we hope you enjoy the selections we have. And this one, you know, we're always happy most of the time. We're really happy when our lead trumpet player brings us food. So let's introduce her, the lovely, beautiful, the effervescent from Papillion, Nebraska, uh, boys and girls, or uh, the band, Marla Yenock, everybody. Right there she is. You bet. So famous. It's, it's um, uh, uh, kind of one of them things I never thought that we would, on TV, have dueling real estate agents on the band. <laughs> We're going to give them each a banjo, and they're going to play the dueling banjos as they're doing a dueling that. So here's a good old tune. Um, Steve will remember all this stuff here. Steve was a member of the Ernie Kutcher Orchestra for how many years, Steve? About 20. About 20 years, and that's a long time to put up with all them front row musicians that he had, too, and them shenanigans. And so uh, here's a tune. I'm sure he had a lot of these on the band. Here's the Happy Moments Polka.
I got a note on my phone already. Uh -oh. And we better take care of it. I, uh, I got a note from a guy by the name, a lot of people know out there, and, uh, and there's a lot of people that regret knowing this guy. Uh, probably more of the latter, and uh, we'd like to send it out especially to Mr. Frank Melmer. Frank Melmer right. sent me a note, oh, yeah. and his question is, who is the bone player? <laughs> it is eating at him, and just on purpose, we shouldn't introduce him till the last minute of the show. But you know what? We're going to change pace here. We're going to introduce him. Uh, all the way from Pierce, Nebraska, and he is the band director where? In Pierce. Okay. All right. I didn't know for sure. A imagine that. And he is world-renowned, and uh, we uh, uh, acquired his talents uh, a couple weeks ago, whenever the heck that was. And he did such a wonderful job, we decided, why not? Let's put him on TV. So how about a nice round of applause from Pierce, Nebraska, Mr. Mike Sint, everybody. Right there he is. You betcha. Doing a wonderful job. And I hope Frank Melmer answers me and says thank you. So we'd also like to send this one out to a pretty gal, uh, Paul, that we know, the lovely and beautiful uh, Polly likes this song. Here's the Slavish Girl Polka. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Leo Lani Orchestra here tonight. And as I understand it, this is new for the program. For we have the pride of Pierce, Nebraska here. <laughs> I, I had to get right in on that. You know, just a great job on the trumpet there. Marla, you've got some competition now. They're right next to you. Yeah, well, he lives a long ways away from me, though. Yeah. yeah All right, tell everybody who you are. Uh, Mike Sint from Pierce. And you are the band director at Pierce, Nebraska? I am the band director in Pierce. I understand they deputized you during the uh, Norfolk, uh, what was it, Oktoberfest? Yep. Yes. You got in here? 
Yeah, I did. They invited me. Uh, they needed a trombone player, and I sat in. And they must have liked me because they invited me back. <laughs> You've got a. Uh, you served your country, our country, uh, in the military. Tell us about that. Yeah, I uh, spent 20 years in the 43rd Army Band uh, down in Lincoln. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you very much for doing that. And uh, thank you for serving your country. And Marla, seeing you two together with those trumpets going, I was like, wow, he's bringing the heat over here. Heat, heat. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but How are you doing? How's, uh, how's the realty business in the Omaha? Real, the real estate business is good right now for me. It kind of goes up and down, but right now it's real good. For those that don't know, she... And he, drummer, no, no. Well, we're married. are married. Yeah, yes, we're that's married. where I was going. <laughs> I guess. I, 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 I know. <laughs> He's a real estate agent. Right, right. The real estate agent was ranking above your own husband. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. But, you know, it's, we're not really in competition. We're in different areas. Yeah. Really, so. Maybe yeah. we could work on the two of you selling a house tonight, you know, somebody, a buyer and hey, a seller. Yeah. We need a buy and a sell. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> How about in Scott's Bluff? Somebody watching in Scott's Bluff. People will be like, why in the heck is an Omaha realtor got a sign in Scott's Bluff? But your license lets you do we, that. We, we could do that, but it's a long way for a listing appointment or for showing. We'll do an open house every Sunday for <laughs> six months. <laughs> We'd have a lot of mileage. We'd have to write off on that one. <laughs> a lot of mileage. Well, it's good to have you all back here. And uh, Lonnie, is, uh, as always, thank you for assembling this crew here. Oh, you betcha. It's not the easiest thing to do on a Monday night. It, it can be difficult, but uh, I'm always uh, blessed to have what I consider the finest musicians I could have on the band. So. And so fine that last year, <laughs> you'll like to know this, uh, <laughs> the band worked Thanksgiving. Uh, they they all came in for a thanks. Look at his face in the back. Yeah. They came in for a Thanksgiving meal because you got to remember it was COVID. COVID time. Yeah. It was locked down. Yeah. There was uh, we. I got the meals from a local restaurant. We yeah, had Thanksgiving dinner here at the Norfolk VFW, yeah. and I think our viewers really appreciated that show. Yeah, that was a uh, that couldn't happen at a perfect time. You know, when everything was COVID and locked down. So. It worked out great. So, so Marla, what are you doing for Christmas? How about we do something about <laughs> noon? Noon? You, you know can unwrap that. presents at 6 a.m., then get in the car by 10, get here by noon, and we could be on uh, the air by 12.30. There you go. With a yeah. seven-hour show. Yeah. <laughs> Solo trumpet. Christmas. Solo trumpet, yeah. <laughs> Solo trumpet. <laughs> Solo Just like, think of the like real like estate ads you could do. Or something, you know? yeah. Christmas I'm with Marla home. and her realtor friend. Oh, and her husband. Uh, and, too. Her husband. <laughs> <laughs> and the sidekick. Uh, all right, tell you what, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we've got some good-looking weather to check out here with Jeff Fox, our chief meteorologist, and, of course, news from across the state of Nebraska. You're, oh, I forgot. we got to go to Mike's Mailbag. Uh, we cannot forget that. We get so many good letters, and I'm sure I'll get some after the Leo Lani Orchestra. We hope gone so. Because uh, that is uh, very, very, very popular uh, with the our viewers. There's the Mike's Yep, bag. here we go. Mike's mailbag. We. Oh, I got weather. Okay. Oh, here we go. There we go. Jackie from Lincoln, I just want to say thank you for programming Quarantine Tonight. I really enjoy watching it. I have recently started watching your programming. Well, Jackie, thank you. We appreciate that. And thanks for sending us a letter. Next up, Rachel and Howard in Beatrice. My grandpa and I love watching Quarantine Tonight. Our favorite is the polka music. Thank you so much for creating this show and sharing such wonderful music. We truly enjoy it. Well, you are, you've hit the jackpot. And then here's Gary in Norfolk. I am enjoying Quarantine Nightly almost nightly. Nebraska is rich with talent that I have enjoyed for more than 40 years. Well, thank you, Gary, for that. Uh, a lot of our letters say, bring back the Leo Lani Orchestra. So here they are. If you want to send us a letter, we'd love to get one from you. The address is on the bottom of your screen. And uh, not only do you um, get, we get the enjoyment of finding out what you think, but if you send us a note, we will put you on the mailing list. You'll get the postcard, and that is free. How about that? You can't get any better deal. All you got to do is send us a letter, and even if you want to put your neighbor on there, maybe you don't like your neighbors. You're like, I want them bugged with Quarantine Tonight postcards. It's free. You can do that, too. 214 North 7th Street in Norfolk, 68701. We'll be right back after checking in with our news department. Oh, 
you are back. We are back here on Quarantine Tonight. I'm your host, Mike Flood, and uh, this is the Leo Lani Orchestra uh, Polka Division tonight. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the big band is coming back in the month of November. I have to say I love the polkas, but uh, we have so few big bands out there. Mm -hmm. It is just nice to have that sound. And I can't ever get a straight read out of anybody in the band of what they like more, polka or big band. Both. Yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. That's what I hear. <laughs> Paul, what do you go on that? Of course, you you sing in Czech, so it's you know, it's hard to it's hard to beat that. You want to talk to me? Okay. Uh, yeah, I've gone back and forth. I, I I do. I love it both. I mean, I grew up with this, but I I love the big band music too. I played that for a number of years too. Be, kind of went off a of polka band onto one of, onto that band strictly, and so I like them both. So, well, they sound great, by the way. And we are glad you're here. Let's do more uh, with the Leo Lani Orchestra right here on NCN. Um, talking about Paul, we were, uh, I don't know, I was doing some paperwork not the longest ago. And uh, I look back when Paul's first job ever was with the Leo Lani Orchestra, and it was what, July 4th of 2005? Or 09. Or 09. 09. 09. 09. And uh, July 4th, and then Marla's first job ever with the band was the next day in, in Beatrice. So. Uh, Paul, I think, has played oh, uh, almost 780 jobs already with the Leolani Orchestra <laughs> since he's been on. So from when he's been helped out and then come on steady. And Marla, I think you were, what, three, 400, somewhere in there? So uh, had a lot of, I didn't look up Rich at all. I think he played one so far. So, yeah, or two. Over, this, is, this is the second one today. Uh, right now, I, uh, if you, uh, we're going to do a little accordion uh, trio time or Susie will join in. So then that makes a what, combo when you have four? use the right musical terms. Uh, this accordion is very special and I want to thank uh, the lovely beautiful Marla for bringing it along tonight. Uh, this is her Marla's dad's button accordion, Mr. Dean Hansen. And uh, Dean passed away now over a year this past August. And uh, Marla brought it along and said, uh, she brings it along when she can and says, uh, play, play some of my dad's tunes on it. So we're gonna do one right now, uh, one that her dad always played all the time. Here's the summertime polka. Now as we shut the accordion mic off and we turn everything else back on. I ma we're making the sound guys work today, Paul. Did you notice yeah, that? Right. Making them, ah, they're earning their money today. Here's a little tune. Um, I don't know, Paul, does any band play this? I don't know. Ernie always used to say he was the only one that played it. Uh, Steve, is that true? That's a good question. That's a good question. 
But we're going to do a little song now, and uh, it's a pretty waltz, and uh, Ernie Kutcher's hometown was Abbey, Nebraska. And so we want to send this one out to anybody from Abbey, Nebraska, especially the lovely, the beautiful Bernie Prohaska. There, you betcha. Here's the Abbey Waltz. <laughs> A little tune called the Abbey Waltz for all of those great people from the big town of Abbey, Nebraska. We're going to change it up a little bit, and uh, i got to put on an accordion here. And uh, Marla brought along some great music like she always does. And you know what? Uh, we better give credit where credit's due because Steve Steger almost took one for the team saying that he was married for, to Marla. <laughs> we... Uh, <laughs> But, but no, no, Rich was saying, no, no, it's me, it's me. Ladies and gentlemen, our drummer of the evening and every evening, as long as I can remember, for a long, long time. And uh, I've had a lot, a lot of fun with this guy. My wife, whenever I get a funny joke on my phone, she always says, I suppose you're going to send that to Rich. And so I send it to Rich, and he gets always a laugh. But he's lucky enough, the rest of us guys, we're just not lucky enough to be married to the lead trumpet player, but he is. A nice round of applause, boys and girls, for Mr. Rich Yenock, everybody, from Papillion, Nebraska. So nice of him to come along and let Marla ride along with him. You betcha. So, so uh, here's a nice little tune that, uh, Marla, you're going to call it what? The Fiesta Polka. Thank you. 
Lots of applause. Here's another nice tune, uh, uh, Paul. Um, and this Marla, who made this famous? This is a Ray Dorschner tune. We'd like to send it out to all the Ray Dorschner guys that are listening. Uh, we got a note from Jens Jensen said he's listening, and he said he's really impressed with the trumpet playing. So that's how about that, Marla? He's a trumpet player. He should know something talented. That's right. So uh, Rich would like to send this one out, especially to uh, who do I need to send this out to? To Little Joe and Haas, here's one called the Ponderosa Polka. Thank you. 
Is my order the same as your guys' order so far? All right. I'd like someone out, especially to uh, my uh, family at home that are hopefully watching. Let's see, what time is it? Well, the girls should be in bed, but hopefully they're stay mom's letting them stay up this evening. I want someone out, especially to uh, Sylvia and Ellie and Laneley. And then uh, I have one more daughter, that, but she's here. And uh, then my lovely bride, Kim, at home. So. Uh, She's been kind of running down the, or holding down the fort while I've been out at harvest and getting the girls everywhere they need to go. And so uh, this is a pretty tune. I'd like to send this one out to them. Here is the Winter Garden Waltz. <laughs> Pretty tune called the Winter Garden Waltz. All right, got to switch up here a little. Lonnie, while you're switching, I want to send one out to a recently found relative of mine, a second cousin that well, we just kind of figured out that's what we were on uh, Ancestry.com, sending it out to Jeannie Ferguson Spardalotti. Formerly a Nemetz, or her grandmother was a Nemetz, and so was mine, and we kind of figured that out. Also found out that both of our fathers played alto sax, starting out at the St. Wenceslas Band down in South Omaha. So we've got, we figured out a lot of connections, and I think she's listening from out in Compton, California, so we want to send it out to her. And what's more impressive is there's somebody out there that's a relative of yours that claims you. <laughs> That's why, that's why the, 
They claim the grandmas, that's right. That's why the rest of us could, uh, we're, we're not so close to you, but that's the way it works. So here's a nice polka, especially for them. Here is the Two White Roses polka. <laughs> This sounds wonderful, and I think there's something about this orchestra that even sounds, uh, that makes it so easy for people at home to enjoy the music. Sometimes when you have one or two or even four performers, I feel like sometimes the TV speakers don't get the full feel, but when you all show up with your, your, your instruments, it just seems to sound better. I think that's just maybe the instruments or... It's just you. It's just, <laughs> yeah, it's us. It's, 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 yeah, it's the musicians. It yeah, yeah. Hey, it's the red shirts. Suze, I got good news for you. Uh, tomorrow, Chad Barnhill, Midwest Music, is getting a grand piano delivered to the program. It has been over a year since we could buy, said goodbye to that grand piano that you got your senior pictures taken with. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> So you're going to have to give up your student uh, experience at UNO and then become part of the house band at uh, News Channel Nebraska. There you go. You could live at the VFW. Tell your friends. To <laughs> tell your friends I'm moving to the Norfolk VFW. Uh, don't miss me. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. This is no longer undisclosed location, right? Right, right. Everyone knows where we are. 
Well, here's the funny thing. We told everybody where we were, and we said, hey, you can all come and watch. Nobody comes. Nobody came. <laughs> That's Sometimes how many fans we have. Anybody's watching. They want to dance. They, they want to, yeah, dance. well, they're dancing in their living rooms, I hope. But, uh, yeah, uh, put that address up there so you let us know if you're watching it. It really does help when you're doing a program uh, that people say they enjoy. But when you say, hey, come join us at the Norfolk VFW, there's no one here. I don't know what it is. Is it me? <laughs> it, can't, it can't be the outfit. Yeah. <laughs> it can't yeah, be don't the you outfit. like this? I got this in Sioux Falls. Ooh. Uh, it was a little more comfy when I bought it. <laughs> what? It's gotten a little. You mean the coat shrank? This this show has made it a little bit more snug. Is that right? The yeah. camera will do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me about it. All right. There's the address there. Let us know and uh, please come by. Here's what I was thinking. You know, in January last year, I went down to Lincoln for the legislative session, and we did it at the Playmore Ballroom. That's right. Which was cold, by the way. Yes, sir. It was very cold. What I'm thinking about this year is I'm home every weekend. I thought about having three bands on Saturday and three bands on Sunday twice a month, and then everybody could come. Oh, there you so go. like you could get a bus from Brainerd or a bus from David City, and you could come on a Saturday or Sunday. You could come and listen to three bands, and we'd record three shows at there once instead of doing them live. Yeah. And that way, Mike Flood plays. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, last year I was in the legislature and I was running out to the Playmore and you guys were cold and I was cold and <laughs> it was like 40 below. You remember that? Yeah, there was a couple of cold nights there, yeah. When yeah. you walk, when you're inside there and your nose is bright red because... <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And now with natural gas, it's going to be so expensive. Oh. Well, I've stocked up on wood for my house. Bed, so. Yeah. That's what we needed here is a big wood fireplace. There you go. Ambiance. Yeah, we got a penguin over there. We might as well see. <laughs> get a camera on the penguin. I think you're pointing to Rich, but. Yeah, well, we got, we got Lonnie. Then we got a penguin got over a penguin. there. <laughs> All right, the I tell you what. Man, we're going to take a quick break. More of the Leo Lonnie Orchestra in just minutes right here on NCN. Uh, welcome back to Quarantine <laughs> Tonight. You're here uh, live. We're at the Norfolk BFW. This band is putting on a show. Marla's here. Her sister, Lynette Hansen and Blair, was given some instructions or some assistance on some sound, sound, some sound, sound uh, things. And we she, think we got those she's a sound corrected. So uh, she's a musician too, right? And she plays the clarinet and sax. She plays, well, right now she plays with the Blair Community Band and stuff when she's not selling ads for the Blair Enterprise. Publishing. Would she like to sell ads for the News Channel Nebraska? There you go. She might. You never know. She's <laughs> been with them for Hanson over 30 discount. years. Well, why don't you bring the Blair Community Band up here and let's have some of that. There uh, you go. We'd love to have that. They just they just, they just, just started up after COVID. Oh. They, they, they practice at the school and they have to use school, you know, profession equipment. Did you, so have a, a, did you have parents that were music teachers or how did you get so musical, the whole family? My dad was, was the, they talked about the accordion. Yeah. My dad was a musician his whole life since he was like age 11. He played music his whole life with bands and travel. He had his own band. His own band and made CDs and and uh, his whole life was music. And look so. what happened to his daughters. There oh, he goes gosh. As well. They had no choice. No. <laughs> All right, well, let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. More of the Leo Lonnie Orchestra. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
plays a polka, I go into a trance. I'm quite bewitched, my feet just itch to dance and dance and dance. I find myself a partner, but not for sweet romance. Cause it's not love I'm thinking of, I only want to dance. I get a dream, my feet just seem to float along. When Otto plays a polka, I just can't go wrong. I turn and tilt to every living melody. It's exercise in paradise to me. When Otto plays a polka, I hurry on the floor. I dance, I do, until he's through, and then I clap for more. I hold on to my partner, but once again we glance. I hop and hop without a stop until the very end. Until the very end. plays a polka, I hurry on the floor, and dance I do until he's through, and then I clap for more. I hold on to my partner, and once again we glance. I hop and hop until the end, until the very end, until the very end. Oh, when Otto plays a polka, I, our monitors ain't working, but I hope it's sounding okay. They... They turned it on, just in, time. just in time, right after my vocal. Uh, we didn't have no Susie on that one either. Doggone it anyway. Well, we hope it come through on the TV. That you, you guys could hear me fine, right? You could hear me, Paul? Could you hear me? I repeated the last couple words twice because my bifocals took over. Oh, well, that's all right. I heard Steve. Um, I got, uh, Mike said a, a little bit, says, are we getting a lot of, uh, of uh, text while we're playing, and you know what? We are. And uh, uh, Jens Jensen says that uh, he, he enjoyed that last tune. He didn't say if he heard me or not. And Mr. John Kushik from Milligan, Nebraska says, tell Mike hello for me. So from John Kushik, our band manager, to you, Mike, hello and goodbye. I got to put my accordion up. Paul, I think there was somebody trying to sell a motorcycle or something on there, too. So I don't know if you want to ban them or if that's all right, Mike, but or charge them for, uh, for an ad, maybe. But <laughs> you have to check that out. Uh, here's Lonnie. <laughs> somebody. So, okay. <laughs> I don't know how we come. <laughs> that was a nice filler there, Paul. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks for rehearsing that with me earlier before the show. All right, here's a nice little tune, a little tune called Alpine Delight. And I got to get my accordion mic over here. That's the cue for the sound, guys. Okay. Thank you. 
All right, we're going to do another little tune on accordion slash band. Um, there's, we've been doing a, uh, some Ernie Kutcher, some Ivan Kale, some Ray Dorschner, and right now we're going to do Mr. Earl Schmidt and his orchestra. And uh, we'd like to send this one out, especially, uh, uh, um, how do we want to say it, Paul, from Hooper, Nebraska, uh, a very famous couple, and uh, they were at our uh, dance this last Saturday uh, at the at the Y in Council Bluffs, Iowa. And it was nice of Gerald that he was able to bring his personal physician along uh, to make sure his heart and everything. You missed that, Paul. You weren't playing. Uh, he had his personal physician along. He's almost as important as the president, if not more. So uh, here's a little tune for Mr. and Mrs. Gerald Bodie from Hooper, Nebraska. Here's the Schmaltz Polka. <laughs> tune called the Schmaltz Polka, good old Earl Schmidt tune. Oh, by golly, it's finally up next. All right. Steve, we were all waiting for this. Hold on here. Uh, 
uh, shut my accordion mic off here and grab a saxophone. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, pardon me while I dress. Digress. I digress. Hey, did you hear about the two stoplights? No. They were talking to each other. Really? And the one chewed out the other one and says, will you quit staring at me? And the one looked at the other one and says, why? And he says, because I'm changing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. You could use that at school. That's right. Hey, nobody said comedy's pretty. Nobody said that. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are in the presence of greatness. Uh, <laughs> Why <Why'd> Susie laugh? <laughs> oh, uh, our tuba player, if you can zoom in on him once again, you're going to make sure you, you practice this angle. Practice, yeah, practice this because you're going to have this on him for a lot of the song today. Ladies and gentlemen, this fine tuba man from Fremont, Nebraska has played uh, lots and lots of jobs with tons of bands. And like we mentioned, he played with Ernie Kutcher for 20 years. And then uh, when Mike Bretschka took it over, he played for how long, Steve? He about five years, and then he went on to kind of like sub list, right? Is that the right way of saying it? And has helped out tons of bands, and he's helped out the Leolani Orchestra a bunch, and uh, it's always a, a lot of fun time. We, uh, Steve went to Ohio with us, Paul, do you remember that? Because we were all mad at Steve because we could shout out any, num uh, any title in Ernie's book, and he would say what number it was. So it was kind of disgusting, actually. So. But uh, we are going to feature Mr. Steve Steger back there on a good old tune, a little Dorschner tune. Here's the rock and roll polka. Mr. Steve Steger on that tuba, or not tuba. <laughs> we got a standing ovation, that's right. Somebody should laugh. We're, uh, Marla said we should send one out to her sister-in-law, so here. Hey, this, this one goes out to Eldon and Ricky Wolf from Blair, Nebraska. I'm sure they're watching. And Ricky would be a sister to my husband, Rich. So they always listen to the polka. They like polka music, too, and she really likes button accordion. And she can actually play the button accordion. Yeah, yeah I've heard her do it at campsites. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when we're camping, she's does, playing the button box. Does she hire out for campsites or what? She she play the campfire polka then. Uh, yeah, know that one. 
<laughs> uh, Chesky Pokas, all right. Uh, Ricky was a classmate of mine in, uh, in grade school and high school also. So we're going to send it out to her and feature Lonnie on one called... The, we're we're going to call this one the Dutch Festival Waltz. There and we have learned more about Ricky in the last couple minutes than they have in a whole lifetime. So especially for you, Ricky, uh, here's a little Dutch Festival Waltz. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Your applause means a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. You want to do another waltz? Is that all right? Okay. Here's a nice little tune. Um, we'd like to send one out, especially to uh, all our great dancers that come out to our uh, monthly Leolani dances. Um, it's a uh, wonderful and joy to see everybody that they come out. And uh, we put them on uh, once, once a month with the ballroom band. And uh, we throw in a polka job once in a while. And, uh, but at the Eagles, they're in Wahoo. And so this is especially for all of you guys. Here is the Blue Eyed Dolly Waltz. Heska jetzeskiczka kada po ni se heski chodi. Celo ji spomjeti zna, je davno tobje vodi. Aš jedno přiločení, na ní tam budeme stát. Dámky polibení, řeknu ti, mám tě rád. Dámky polibení, řeknu ti, mám tě rád. Thank you. 
having a great time, you can probably tell by the seriousness. <laughs> you caught me off guard there a little bit. Oh, sorry. I was working with some of your fans, all one of them. In the <laughs> <laughs> There's that many? <laughs> no crowd control. Yeah. yeah, I was crowd control. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is great though, by the way. We appreciate having you here. And uh, just so you know, uh, we're negotiating the date right now, but the Leo Lani uh, Big Band Orchestra is going to be coming back in November. In November. Which we're very excited about. Very, we're in bargaining stages right now. We're in the bargaining. Well, not a, actually, you need to know, not over price. These guys, I mean, if these guys did it for money, uh, this would be. This would be a tough life. This would be life. one of them. Yeah, this yeah. would be a tough life. But uh, they do it because they love it. They and love uh, the music. They love to share it with all of you. And there are a lot of people out there that I know really appreciate it. And what I would love to see is a map of all the phone calls that are made the minute the Leo Lani Orchestra gets on TV. Because you know uh, Susan in Creighton is calling her sister in Hardington and vice versa <laughs> to say, hey, turn it on. These folks tonight are good. And there's motorcycle sales by what Paul said, so. <laughs> motorcycle sales, oh, yeah. Gotta look at that one. Oh, man. I think I was on the right one. You, were you on the right one? I hope you were. <laughs> uh, by the way, tomorrow night, we have Ken uh, Sittler, and then on Wednesday, a band called Happy Endings. Next week, um, I personally picked all the bands. Uh -huh. So oh. we will see how that goes. I know we got some good ones coming in, so. We had this guy on last week that did Frank Sinatra. Did you happen to see that? Yes. Uh, Frank Sinatra and uh, Dean Martin. He did all the good stuff. He Is did all Bob the good Fields? stuff. Is and that Bob uh, Fields? Uh, it was, uh, how do you say his last name? Johnny Fashionella. Oh. Ooh, He's I'm Italian, like Italian. Yeah, and I his guess. dad was a pill <laughs> in the audience. He was fun. <laughs> His dad could his uh, could have his own cooking show, by the way. Oh, cool. Yeah, Italian cooking. So, hey, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back with more on quarantine tonight, right here on NCN. We see right there. We're back, so, ladies we're, and gentlemen. We're back. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do another accordion tune. If they can turn my accordion mic on, I don't know if it was on the last one, but if they can turn it on for me, here is a little tune called "The When I Sleep." Polka. Thank you. 
Gentlemen, the Leo Luddy Orchestra, that's the closest thing we've had to an encore in a year, <laughs> by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you to the Leo Luddy Orchestra. They will be back in November. It's time now for your local news. Good night. <laughs>